Hello everybody, uh, Patreon time back for yet another vlog, or vlog, this is vlog number 4, uh, it is the 28th of June, it is 11.08 in the morning, so good morning everybody, for once. Um, I do realise that my upload schedule for this has been uh, horrible, to say the least, so I'm going to try and do them every Sunday night, not sure which time yet, on Sunday night in particular, but every Sunday night, like I originally planned, it's just that I keep forgetting to do them on Sunday. So I'm going to try not to forget, so you guys can enjoy this every Sunday or Monday morning, depending on when I upload them. But yeah, this is a vlog from Thursday. Oh, uh, Wednesday. No, Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday the 28th of June. There we go. Checking the calendar, because don't know. Oh uh, yeah, it's been a pretty slow week in League of Legends, actually. Uh, nothing's really happened. These uh, The balance fix was cool, like they had changed a bunch of things with... Uh, like Victor bugs and stuff, which is good to see fixed. Uh, the pause function was implemented, which was awesome, really awesome. Actually, I casted a game on the live client when we ha had the pause function in effect for a game, and it was good because two players DC'd at different times. They managed to pause for maybe 10 seconds apiece just to make sure they could reconnect without any problems, and it was great. So, yeah, it just really takes an element of stress off live games because it's the most awkward thing in the world when someone disconnects, especially because as a caster you can see it and the enemy team doesn't know because they implemented the thing where they couldn't see when they DC until after five minutes or whatever. So you'd be like, oh, that's awkward. Hope nothing happens. And then, you know, obviously because the enemy team doesn't know and you're not just going to believe that. He goes, oh, no, no, he DC'd. Trust me. Trust me. Don't don't, don't take Baron. Stop. Stop damaging Baron. He DC'd. Trust me. Yeah, so it's cool to have that there. Just kind of mediates the games a little bit better. Um, hopefully no one will troll with it because 30 minutes is a long friggin' time to wait on any pause time. And I believe it's 30 minutes each team as well. But it's cool, it's good to have. Um, only that two times in that one game it was used so far. So it's it's nice, but yeah, it's a good option to have. And that's pretty much the most exciting thing that's happened. Uh, other than that, it's been pretty slow. Obviously it's right had some problems with their maintenance and stuff, but it seems like they fixed that all up, which is good. And, yeah, no, that's almost it. I mean, I know people are complaining about what happened with the patch, but, you know, it's growing pain still. When they're implementing the pause to the live server, I believe, they had a ton of problems trying to get it on there, and now that it works, I'm much happier, and hopefully the queue times start going down, but they seem to have been a lot better recently as well, which is good. And, yeah, they just had a crappy week, and whatever. Everyone got some more IP boosts, because why not? <laughs> works out, I guess. Meh, I'm... Again, it's not something that, you know, if it consistently happens, then I would be mad, but this is the first first real major server problems in a very long time, and, you know, it's, I think it's understandable why they had so many problems, so not too worried, not too worried at all. Uh, I do wish they'd get a little bit better announcing their maintenance. I, I know we're all used to it kind of being on Tuesday night, but even if they have to move the patch to the next day for whatever reason, which they've done every now and then, I, I wouldn't mind an announcement, you know, at the beginning of the week, being like, oh, patch night's t planned for tonight at this time to this time, um, just to let you know. Because I'm sure they've already planned the maintenance, like, in that week. I don't think it's much, I don't think it's much effort to them to announce it before they actually go down, you know, like a day before, instead of you know, an hour before, or whatever, a few hours before, but that's just a small thing, and doesn't really bother me, and again, it, I'm sure scheduling maintenance isn't nearly as easy as, that, as I think it is, so there's that as well. Uh, face check last week was good fun, um, it was a small episode again because nothing had happened, but I didn't ask me anything for the first time ever, which was really, really awesome. The episode actually went uh, a lot longer than I thought it would, which is great, because uh, there were people with the questions and stuff, and it was really fun to answer all the questions, uh, both serious and silly. People had some great questions, and uh, props to everyone who tuned in. If you haven't uh, watched it, go ahead and watch it. Uh, if you like, I'll put the link in the description, because it was great. It was really great, and uh, I guess if you want to learn a little bit more about me and where Australian League of Legends is going, not a bad place to start, and it'll be it'll be kind of nice to do another one in a year, hopefully, and, and see exactly how the questions have changed and some of the stuff I said to see if I've been right or not, I guess, about where Australia is going for League of Legends. Um, I think that is legitimately it. <laughs> for I'm going to quickly uh, browse through some stuff to see if I've missed any major announcements, but I don't think I have. Not Nah, no, nothing really. Just unfortunate. Let me just skim through the patch notes real quick. Oh, okay, they just changed a bunch of rewards and stuff. Yeah, you know, exciting stuff. I like the butt change, I guess, for if you're a lower level player trying to level your account. It's probably a good thing. Um, I don't. I actually don't know. I've never uh, reactivated a summoner spell with a pet on it yet until when the patch is hit. So I don't know what it's like to c control your pet. I think I believe it's you kind of get control of it kind of single-mindedly for a short while, which is cool, but. 
I don't think alt right clicking is like it's fine. I have no problems with alt right clicking, but you know, I guess having a slightly different option is cool. Yeah, and that was pretty much it. Mana pods got changed to be five gold less, which I think it makes perfect sense. I'm surprised it took them so long to do that. Um, and I'm actually I wouldn't be surprised if they cost a little bit less gold. Like I think a mana pot would probably be balanced at twenty five gold, maybe twenty gold, but thirty five gold. Having the match up just makes more sense because mana pots are really, really only for the early game or for spe ugh, specific champions. In certain situations, like Fiddlesticks, for example, will often get a mana pot early on just because he has Drain to get his life back. Anyway, that's uh, it for me for this one. I know it's been a short vlog, which I'm sure a lot of you are happy about, because I know I drag on every now and then. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully next week it'll be a little bit more exciting. There's been some roster changes and stuff um, with certain teams, but I'll probably talk about that in the next vlog. Although, to be fair, if I'm doing it this Sunday, maybe nothing will have happened. Because <laughs> it is Thursday. We'll see. We'll have to see. But hopefully, I'll, again, I'll start getting the vlogs out more on time as well. Um, yeah, and that's about it for me for this one. I'll talk about some more stuff on the, in the next one, and then hopefully the week after that, or even this week, it'll be much more exciting. But yeah, it's been a pretty slow week, but that's okay. Every now and then we get a slow week. Anyway, I'm Patriot Time signing out for this vlog. Bye!